In recent times, we have seen several movies and productions coming from outside normal creativity and merely thinking of something to captivate the audience. We have actively seen various adaptations from novels, storybooks, and even comic books, and these tales are produced into motion pictures, even in 3D, making it clearer and possibly more enjoyable than reading from books. Never minding how old a particular tale is, it can be heavily compressed and integrated to produce blockbuster movies. Some evident examples are are The Clash of the Titans and The Percy Jackson Story, which were evidently extracted from the history books to further explain and help the younger generation have a basic understanding of these mythologies. Even Game of Thrones and the most recent one, House of Dragons. While there are several movies being released in recent times, there are speculations about a release coming up in 2026. The revitalization of Cat in the Hat, based on the 1957 Dr. Seuss book titled Cat in the Hat. It was a kiddie storyline that narrated the story of a cat that traveled all around people's houses, finding kids who were sad or bored and then engaging and keeping them happy. The Tales of Cat in the Hat were a kiddie storybook that made many kids loved at the same time, and Warner Bros. Pictures, being a company that featured mostly kiddie shows like The Tom and Jerry Show, Roadrunner, and even Scooby-Doo, has created a long list of creations. This production would be the third screen adaptation of this 1957 storybook, following a television television special that aired in 1971 and the live action film that took to the screens in 2003. Both were not bad representations of the actual storybook, but due to the time they were created and the limitations of equipment and devices, the quality of the production were not all that good. That's why the speculation of this third adaptation is being looked forward to by everyone who knows about the famous storybook of Dr. Seuss, meaning the elderly would even be looking forward to the premiere of this masterpiece. Yeah, that's right, kids. You're parents are going to force you to sit down and watch with them a show they probably all loved when they were younger. That's going to be hilarious though. Meanwhile, there's no speculation or rumors or uncertainty of any sort. Warner Bros. declared on March 6, 2026, the new edition of The Cat in the Hat would be released following the personas of Erica and Alessandro as the directors and writers of this amazing show, respectively. All you need to know more is that the legendary Cat in the Hat is making a comeback in this new movie. Anyways, in the books, this chaos-causing cat barges in on these, should I say, unlucky kids because this feline is just, let's leave it at a chaos-causing cat for now. The kids are bored, and it was a pretty rainy day. It was a boring day for the kids, but this Tom cat managed to turn their fortunes. Even as it wasn't easy, he was still able to make them happy. It's a really exciting book to read, by the way. I think I'll probably get the book to read, so I'll not be completely dumbfounded when watching the movie, which I'm sure is going to take every single person off their feet. Even as Dr. Seuss is just a rather not-too-famous persona, we can see that there have been several film adaptations of his books, all of them being as interesting as the next one. The live-action replica of The Cat in the Hat was, can you guess it? Well, yes, it was a disaster, as they failed to capture the true essence of the actual storybook and missed out on Dr. Seuss's charm for humor and simplicity. But with all assurance and certainty, the brand new animated series launching in 2026 will be breathtaking. Let's not get over ourselves, but just be hopeful that the next act of The Cat in the Hat will be a spectacle to behold when it premieres on the big screen and be nothing like the first two adaptations that appeared on our screens. The movie would be dedicated to Dr. Seuss because he has passed away. May his soul rest in peace. The adaptations of his children's storybooks can still be seen in so many animated shows out there, steadily reflecting the great work of a kid's storied legend, all in attempts to bring this Cat in the Hat character back to the roots, so expect the very best because this production has been going on for a while now. So set your reminders and you should get pre-tickets to the premiere of the launch of this wondrous show. So it's realistically possible that we won't hear further info about the production of the show because we're just about less than two years away from the launch of this highly anticipated movie as they would probably be in the crucial development stages of it. With the show getting ready to hit the big screen in no time, the lineup of the cast of this show compromises a star-studded compilation that would greatly contribute to the mega success of The Cat in the Hat. The lead character in this show is none other than our 
very own comedic persona, Bill Hatter. Of course, Bill is the perfect persona for this role due to his speciality in vocals and in multiple humorous impressions. He takes on the leading role in the show. The confidence level is high, stating that Bill Hatter would do an amazing job referencing past interpretations. His reputation precedes him as he was a voiceover in the amazing Disney show Inside Out, so we're pretty confident that he has got this. His name's Hatter, by the way. We love this, brother. Alongside Bill Hatter, the lineup of corresponding humorous and well-experienced individuals wears another cape of confidence that this particular show would be a blast on our screens. Even as details, not as specific as we might expect, there are a number of facts we can already pull from already gathered tips, says the Miami PD would say. Quinta Brunson, one of the features of this star-studded show, being the creator of Abbott Elementary, is in a confident position to deliver some quality acting and a masterpiece follow-up. Bowen Yang will be featured in this animation as well. Also, Matt Berry, well recognized for his role in What We Do in the Shadows, is a significant addition to this team to achieve maximum results. And then we have a person all the way from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Sochil Gomez, who featured in the Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness movie, she will also lend her voice to the production of the show, and then Paula Pell will be present as well. Finally, there's not too much info about the upcoming movie, but a little tip suggests this feline travels all around the world, looking for kids who are not happy or probably bored, and it went on for a while until he met his toughest clients yet, two siblings who made him work more than normal. But they had an amazing adventure either way. I'm really looking forward to this show, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait until 2026, which is an awfully long time unless you're The Flash and just wanna run to the future. Come back and drop mini spoiler alerts. Till then, we grace the cinemas on March 6, 2026. Adios, amigos.